Hey guys, here is the first lesson for Unit 2, um, which is on algebraic expressions. So the uh, really the focus of this lesson is to get you familiar with a lot of the, the words, the math vocab that we'll be dealing with um, throughout this unit and really for the rest of the year and, and through the rest of the, the time that you're in math classes. Uh, you're going to hear these words over and over again. Um, and if you don't know what um, someone's talking to you about or the, or the words they're using, it's going to be really hard to <clears throat> to solve the problems and, and to build on um, things in, in further lessons. So let's look at a couple words and then what we can do with those. So the whole, the whole thing that we're dealing with, um, they're called algebraic expressions. Uh, sounds a lot worse than it is. An, an algebraic expression, as you can see, and hopefully your notes, your notebook, you're setting up something similar to what you see on the screen. An algebraic expression is just an expression that may contain, and then we've got three different things here. Um, numbers, okay. You'll see numbers in there. You will see operations, add, subtract, multiply, divide. And the other thing you're, you're gonna see are some symbols which we'll talk about but in algebraic expression you'll definitely count on seeing those three things in some kind of, of fashion or combination so um, that's what an algebraic expression is and then within an algebraic expression you're going to hear um, me reference terms and we're going to do a lot with terms during this unit so what is a term it's just I like to just say it's the parts of an algebraic expression. So what does that even mean? Let's look at what those parts are with a little example here. So I've got the algebraic expression 5p or 5 times p plus 4. And each of these little things in this algebraic expression, these are terms. So we've got the term 5p, that's one of the terms. And I've got the term four. So what are all of these things? Well, the let's start with the P here. The P, that is a variable. That's a symbol that represents a number. All right, so variables just in general, it's any symbol, usually it's X, Y, any letter um, or symbol that represents one or more numbers. Now with that, so this term, 5p, 5 times p, also has something attached to it called a coefficient. A coefficient, and in this example, 5 is a coefficient. That's a number, that's a numerical factor, factor, something you're multiplying, the numerical factor of a variable. So any variable, 4y, 3x, 2c, all of these variables, c, y, and x, have coefficients, a number that's being multiplied by. 2 times c, 4 times y, 3 times x, and this one it's 5 times p, that's a coefficient. Okay, and the last uh, math vocab word that I kind of want you to get into your brain as we move into this unit is a constant. So in an expression, if you have any term that's not attached to a variable, so this I just have a, a 4. It doesn't have a variable with it. It's just a constant 4. It's always 4. There's nothing that's going to change. It's not multiplying by anything. It's just 4. That's a constant. Okay. So in this Algebraic, algebraic expression, I've got a variable, a coefficient, and a constant. And you'll see these in different um, ways, and we're going to look at a few example problems just so that you can um, be able to, so what I'd like you to be able to do is to identify, if I gave you an algebraic expression, identify what the variable or variables are in that expression, what the coefficient or coefficients are and any constants um, in there. So let's let's look at an example. So here, 
my instructions are asking me to identify the terms, coefficients, and constants in each expression. So let's take our first expression, 5x plus 13, and let's break it down. So 5x plus 13. So within here, I've got two terms, right? So one of my terms is 5x, and one of my terms is 13. Okay, so in my terms, I've got 5x, and I've got 13. Those are the parts of the expression, the pieces of it. Um, now within that, I've got some other things. I've got a coefficient here. The coefficient is 5. And I also do have a constant, 13. Remember, a constant is a term without a variable. Good. And then I didn't um, break it out, but this x, <clears throat> I'd hope you'd be able to tell me, is a variable, a symbol that represents some number. Cool. So let's look at one more. Um, just scroll down. And example problems are great things to add. Um, in your notes when you're taking notes just to have. I know that you can always look back on this video, but it's good to um, to write things out. It's just an additional way to get your brain to remember what you're working with. Um, so I've got the algebraic expression here, 2 times z squared, or z to the second power, plus y plus 3. So let's break this one out. 2z squared plus y plus 3. Well, how many terms do I have here? Hopefully you're saying to yourself, we have got three terms. One of the terms is 2z squared. That's one of my terms. Another term here is y. And another term here is 3. So remember, a term is the part or the parts of an algebraic expression. Here I've got three parts to it. 2 times z squared, y, and 3. All right, so now... <clears throat> Let's look through this example and, and see what are the coefficients. Well, one of them is very obvious. It's 2. Right? A coefficient is the factor attached to a variable. Well, 2 times z, this is the factor, 2. And some of you are saying, well, that's it. That's my only coefficient. Um, I'd like to point out that y does have a coefficient, it might not be there, but what is really in front of that y? A 1. Now, you're never going to see the 1 written out, but I just like to always point out there really is a 1 there, okay? Um, 1 times y, or anything times 1, is itself. Um, we don't show the 1 there because it's kind of redundant and it's kind of pointless. 1 times y, it's just itself. But really, this y does have a coefficient, and that's 1. So even though it's not shown, there are two coefficients in this algebraic expression. Two, which we can see, and one, because any and every variable that doesn't visually have something in front of it, it really does have a one because we're multiplying um, one times y. It's just itself. Like I said, though, we typically don't write out any coefficients with a 1, so I wouldn't get too caught up on that, but just so you know, there is a 1 there. And lastly, do we have any constants? We sure do. There is a 3 here, okay, a constant, a term without a variable, so we've got one of those. So I'm going to give you some checkpoint questions to try on your own, write them out in your notebook. Um, you could just label them as extra examples, write out the uh, algebraic expression, and then identify the terms, the coefficients, and the constants. And then lastly, um, we're going to talk about evaluating an algebraic expression. Um, when you are evaluating, so I'd like to stop and take a look at that word evaluating. What does that mean? When you're evaluating an al algebraic expression, what does that mean? Really, it involves two things. Substituting some number in for the variables in the algebraic expression. And then once you've substituted the numbers in, my second step here says use order of operations to find the value of the numerical expression. 
look, you've gone from an algebraic expression, something that has variables, to a numerical expression, something that you know how to work with, it's got numbers in it. So evaluate just means to plug in or substitute a number for each variable, which will be given to you, and then solve using order of operations, which I know that each of you knows how to do. So let's look at a few examples. Um, so this one says evaluate. Evaluate this expression. It's a very short one just to get us into it. K plus 10. So I've got my variable K, and it's telling me what K equals. K equals 25. So the way to evaluate this expression is just to substitute in. So step one, what does K equal? K equals 25. So put it into the expression, rewrite the expression, and solve it. Now obviously this is kind of Silly, it's very easy. I know each and every one of you could add 25 plus 10 and get it, but I'm just showing you the step of and, and really highlighting what it means to evaluate. Evaluate means to substitute a number in for the variable and then use order of operations to solve. Now you're going to be looking at much longer um, and more complex expressions, but just to start off, we're going to start off with some smaller ones. So let's look at one more uh, smaller one here. All right evaluate 4n when n equals 12. Now, this is one I really like to, uh, to highlight because what does 4n really mean? That really means 4 times n. And I want you to get used to, to seeing um, a coefficient right next to a variable. It, it's a factor, remember, it means we're multiplying here. Um, a lot of times you're, you're just not going to see a multiplication symbol anymore. So you just need to get it in your brain that when you've got a number next to a variable. Remember, this is called a coefficient. It's a factor. It's the it's you're, you're multiplying here, um, and when you substitute that it back in, just so that you can really, really remember what's going on, um, and get used to not seeing the multiplication. I like to say a bonus step here is, so let's substitute our 12 in for n. N equals 12. Set it apart using parentheses for times, even though it's not there, you are multiplying here, 4 multiplied by 12. Um, I just think it's a good habit to get into and it really helps you to hammer home the fact that even though there's no multiplication symbol there, we are multiplying. So 4 times 12, I know you all can do that, that equals 48 and I've just evaluated another expression. Let's look at one more and then I'll give you a couple to try on your own in your notes which we'll look at in class together so make sure you've got them in there somewhere. Um, a, ooh, I forgot to put this in here, A divided by B when A equals 16 and B equals 2 thirds. Ooh, a fraction. Um, so let's, let's see here. A, so first off, look, we've got two variables, A and B. Doesn't matter though, evaluate just means substitute it in and solve. Make it from an algebraic expression to a numerical expression and solve it out. So 16 divided by two thirds. Hopefully you can think back somewhere into the cobwebs of your brain and and remember how do I solve <clears throat> a division with a fraction. In case you forget, that's not the point of this lesson, but just to bring it back, um, when you are solving division with a fraction, you actually multiply by the reciprocal. So that would be 16 times 3 over 2. If you don't remember how to do this, no worries. But if you did multiply this out and solve, you would get 24. This is not the point of the lesson. The point of the lesson is solving algebraic expressions, which involves step one, substitute in the numbers for A and for B, and then step two, solve using order of operations. This is just one operation. You're gonna see multi-step ones eventually, but this is just to introduce the topic. So I'm gonna give you a couple checkpoint questions and then I'd like you to work through those. Remember, you should be taking notes, doing these things in your notebook. We'll check together in class. Um, bring any and every question you have about the lesson and we will go from there tomorrow. Um, so do your best, good luck, see you tomorrow.